My name's Richard and I'm the production manager here at the Art B&B Boutique Hotel in Blackpool where one of our rooms has been designed to frustrate guests at £70 a night. The idea from the ho for the hotel came from people recognising that this, uh, this derelict building that was, had been a hotel would be nice to regenerate it, but regenerate it in a way that would help reflect the, the creativity and sponsor, you know, promote the creative talents that Blackpool itself has. The hotel has 19 rooms and every room has been designed by a different artist and the theme and the idea behind every room is unique to that particular bedroom. The unfriendly or the frustrating room we've been talking about earlier was designed by a gentleman called Christopher Samuels who's a disabled artist from Leicester and what the, the concept he's used in the room is to reflect all the problems as a disabled person he has come across when visiting hotels. First thing that makes it difficult is switches. When you actually look you can't find them, they're low down, they're hard to reach. The height of the bed means it's virtually impossible to climb into, you can't just lay in the bed, you have to climb into it. The, the reading lights beside the bed, once you're in the bed, they're below the height of the sides, so you can't, they're actually not useful at all. The TV, beautiful TV, but you can only watch it in the mirror because of the angles you've got at. The desk, the stool to sit at, you can't actually sit at the stool and use the desk. Clothes rails, shelves, all at an angle where anything you put on them will slide down to one end. The bathroom, the toilet, you can sit on the toilet, but you can't close the door. And if you want to have a shower, you can't get the soap out. It's upside down. <laughs> we have actually had a couple stayed in here. The, the launch for the artists to, so they could all see each other's work. A couple that were part of the funding team that specifically helped Christopher actually stayed in the room. And they found it frustrating but amusing because they've been part of the project. But the, they thoroughly respected and understood why everything had been designed the way it was and how it would you know, demonstrate to other people the sort of frustrations that the artist feels in everyday life and trying to use ordinary buildings. I think the room actually quite literally demonstrates the problems that people, you know, depending on what disability you have, crosses a full range of things that actually will show up to anybody that hasn't had to experience these, what it can be like and the frustrations that you know, disabled users have using ordinary public buildings and the consideration that needs to be gone into to design to actually cater for their needs. I think the future is looking very bright for the hotel. The responses we've had specifically to Christopher's room initially, but the fact we've got 19 different unique artworks in here from some world famous artists, some local artists right across the community will help generate the interest and make sure it's a successful thriving business. I mean, this is a unique business in Blackpool. The, uh, the actual setup is it's a community interest company, which means any money that is generated over and above what we need for our running costs will um, go back into uh, creative projects for the community of Blackpool. So it, it's not lining anybody's pockets. It's all for the community and the artists and the creative people of Blackpool.